yeah fine yes yeah, sir yeah good so yesterday's class we discussed about the true copy and shallow copy okay so what is shallow copy means it is uh, just taking an another for example we had one list okay we are giving alias name for the list literally we are giving alias name or alternate name for the list that is called a shallow copy okay so at last we have seen one example if some person is there you have another pet name or another nickname at your home correct so you will be called officially in school or your uh, uh, official circle will be called by one name at home you will be called by another name likewise the list is suppose how to create a shallow copy that we have seen okay in the shallow copy if you do any modification on over the original list it will be reflected on the duplicate list also or else copied list also that we have seen literally isn't it could you remember that yes you know? sir yeah so for example let me go ahead with an example a equal to i just given 1 comma 2 comma or else 1 comma 2 and then 3 and 4 and 5 the same example which we have seen one minute sorry a equal to a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so five elements we have given suppose b equal to a i just assigned now what is in the b what was in the a that will be copied to the b correct so if i ask you to print a it is printing 1 2 3 4 5 suppose if i ask you to print b again it will printing the same thing so this is the shallow copy this concept is called a shallow copy okay so how the shallow copy how we are saying it is shallow copy suppose i am deleting one element from the list a and yesterday we have seen how to delete a particular element can anybody say how to delete an element number 4 del element 4 I want to del delete. delete. Yes, please. Del del uh, a equal to that is list name a of not a equal to ma a of index four so, element number four. I want four. to delete. you know what is the index? What is the index of four? Three sir. Three is the three sir. Okay, so zero one two three. Correct. Three is the index of the fourth element. So if I just delete. The the element will be get deleted. I am again asking to print the A list. You can see the four number will be get deleted. Okay. See, I am deleting from the list. Which list they have deleted? From which list we have deleted? Say the answer. A. A. Isn't it? So I am printing the B also. You can see from the B list also the number four get deleted. No. So this is called shallow copy. It's not a true copy. So that means what? For example, one person was there. He was called by one name. Okay, he is residing in your home. After that, again he will be called. He have alias name also. If anybody coming to your home, for example, let you be. Okay, you have two names, no, two or three names. You will be called, no. For example, uh, your name is uh, suppose Mageshwari. Okay, I am calling you as Mageshwari. You will be respond. Okay, I am just coming to your home and asking you means you will be, yes sir I will be here like this you will say that okay from your same time your mother also calling you with your another name you will be respond to your mother also have you got it both the names are referred what the same object here the list A that is the named as A and B the named as B it is referred the same list have you got it have you understand the shallow yes, copy yes sir. Yeah. Yes, so let's yes, come to the true copy. How to take the true copy, sir? Whether it is a very difficult job. Suppose you are asking the question. It is very easy. You can see the syntax. List two. Actually, it is equal to my. It is not a, a minus symbol. Actually, equal symbol. Okay. So list two equal to list of list one. That is list of list one. Okay. That is the first method or first syntax. Second syntax. Another method. List two equal to list one dot copy function. This is called as function. No, the square opening parenthesis is called uh, closing parenthesis. Together we should call it as a function. Okay. So what is list two? Let me have go with our example. According to our example, what is our list? Second list. B. Suppose A is one list. No, we had one, two, three, four, five. Correct. Now we deleted four. Correct. So what is the element will be reside on the A? Can you say what are the elements are residing in the A? A list. What are the elements? 
Tell the answer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it four? Is there? See, I will show that one, two, three, five only. Correct. So see, I can see printing A. You can see this answer. What is what we? What are the elements? Latest elements. Update elements. One, two, three, and five only. Correct. Five. So I want to take the copy of the list. I have said two methods. What are the methods? First method I am just giving b equal to that is second list 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 name two equal to list of list name one that I have said no. For example, I have to use the constructor called list. It is called as constructor list of list name. Which is the list name? Actual list is what? Original list is what? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 If I give me, then I'm so sorry. What is the wrong? Three, sir. Three yeah, of three. Because of this fellow, <laughs> Del. Sorry. Not that boy. I think eleven, isn't it? Is it eleven? No, sir. No, sir. Who is it? Yes, sir. Rajesh. Rajesh. Not an issue. Rajesh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of what we need to give three, no? Correct. So three we have to give. Yes. The five will be get deleted. I am just printing A. You can see one two three. I am printing B. One two three five is there. Have you got it? Now B is what? Actually, what we have made is a B. I am selecting the line. What is B actually? We made a true copy. This copy is called as true copy. How we are saying means if you are doing any addition, any editing on over the A page, that is A list or the original list, it won't affect. It won't uh, reflected or affect the duplicate list. This is called what? True copy. Have you understood? Have you all understood or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Under the yes, second sir. method, second method, first method using the list constructor, the list of second, uh, the original list. Second method. What is the second syntax we have seen? Second method means second syntax. What is second syntax? That is, for example, C equal to. I am creating a new list. C equal to. What is the thing? A dot copy function. You are, I think, good only enough to drink coffee, isn't it? But you are not answering. What about remaining people? Are you listening or not, Balaji? Yes. Yeah. Listening, sir. Yes, good. sir. Good. Good. Okay, fine. So as I typed, it is correct, no? So a dot copy function. So that what will what this statement will do? It will take a original copy. It will take a actual true copy. It's not a, say we should not say it's a original copy. Copy means how it is original. Okay, it's a contradictory, no? So a dot copy. That is, it will take the copy of the a. That element will be get stored into the variable c. Okay. So now you can see I am printing c. What is in the c? You can see one, two, three is there. Okay. Suppose I am deleting an element from A. Suppose I want to delete the element three. Would you say the statement? Del of sorry, del of del A of what is the thing? Three. What is the third mm -hmm. index? Two. Two. Okay. So I am mentioning now I deleted from A. I am printing the A. You can see one two only there. I am printing C. You can see one two three is there. Have you got it? As we see in yes, sir. Part, two copy. Have you understand what is the difference between shallow copy and true copy? Have you understood? Yes, sir. Yeah, this was yes, a very sir. important topic. One, once again, I will uh, show the content also. One minute. Okay, now you can see list true copy versus shallow copy. True copy means can you say the difference? Can anyone uh, say the difference between the true copy and shallow copy? True copy means what? Shadow copy means what? Or what do you understood? What? What do you understood? Say that. True copy means we are taking a 
duplicate copy of the list after we are taking if you are doing any modification on over the original list that will not reflected or that will not affect the duplicate copy this copy is called as what true copy true copy Hello? yeah yes sir then yeah shallow copy means shallow copy we are just giving alias name or we just we are giving alternate name to the same object object means here list we are giving alternate name for the list already defined the list for example a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 that we have seen we are giving alias name we are giving alternate name or we are giving a nickname for the a here onwards a will be called as b also okay so if you are calling b a will become if you are calling a that a will become that's why we are giving in two names that's what i have given one example if i called you as your name okay you will be you will respond if you are calling by the unofficial name that is a nickname which you have given by your parents you will be respond both the names are referring whom the same person have you got it or else in your friend circle they will give another name so the three name or a number of names that will refer a single object that you are the object this concept is called as what shallow copy shallow copy yeah so this is very important uh, concept over the list because you should know the difference between the shallow copy as well as true copy you didn't understand means suppose you may take a copy means it will affected suppose you may take a copy Uh, of the list after that if you are doing any modification it will be reflected on the duplicate copy also so there is no use it's like a true copy is like a backup correct we are taking as a backup shallow copy means yes. it's not like that have you got the point just we are saying the example the content if you have have you understood na yes sir yes sir very good dear children good good okay let me go to the next one important concept in the list and final concept of the list means list function this is one of the important concept in the list concept till i have said the core point now we are going into the core point of the python that is basic fundamentals of python that will be used very much in the 12th standard okay till the last till the end of the 12th standard you have to refer the same thing same content only okay that is same con uh, concept means this concept will be repeated that time you don't understand that concept means you may not get it have you understood yes sir yeah one minute one minute okay list of functions here you can see many functions are there first function is index function okay and the second one we are going to see append function and third one one minute i will scroll extend function okay and fourth insert function okay and fifth is pop function and sixth is remove function okay and seventh clear eighth count function ninth reverse function okay and tenth sort function these are all the pure basic function which we are using on over the list concept have you all understood this so yes sir yes sir yeah, good so far do you have any doubt before the fu function concept i uh, one minute i will share the slide i will take no, sir. the doubt one second we had a recap Moreover, any person, any new joint person, if you are seeing me, please see the video which you have uploaded. That is last classes videos. Okay, list is slicing. First, we have seen empty list, how to create a single element list, and similarity between the string and list concepts that we have seen. Okay, and differences between the string and list concept that we have seen, and the traversing list, traversing, concatenation, replication, slicing list, is slicing. and updating a new value that i have i have thought adding a new value now i am going to teach it okay in this function i will teach it okay you can easily understand that delete a list in this delete itself two type of deletes are there one is what what are the two type of deleting concept in list hello answer Truly copy. I am asking deleting a list. 
I'm not asking a copy. Two type of we can delete a delete operation can be carry over in two ways. What are the two type of uh, two ways are there to delete a deletion operation on over the list? What are the things? What are the things? Hmm. Hello. Deleting a single element, deleting a vertical element, or deleting the entire list system. Correct? We can delete the entire list, or else what? We can delete a vertical element alone. Okay. These are all the two ways are there. I think somebody is just mute. I think Balaji or something else. I'm uh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Raj, Rajesh, I think so. Okay, now it's fine. That we have seen and list true copy, shallow copy. Just now we have uh, completed the concept. Okay, let me go ahead with the first function that is called as index function. As you are seeing in the slide, the index function is used to return the index of the element. Return the index of the element. Okay. So you may ask the doubt, sir. We can easily manually count. No, why we need to add? For example, I will give an index. So what is the index of? I will. I am highlighting no last line. One, two, three. What is the index of three? Can you say that? What is the index of three? Element three. What is the index of element two? Sir. Two. What is the in index of element one? Zero. Sir. Zero. Very good. So now you are saying because the list contains very few elements. Actually, three elements. Suppose if it is contain thirty elements. We may struggle to say a little bit, correct? Correct, yes, no? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So where the index function, the first function, no one may start it. Okay. Sorry. So the where we the index function will use means whenever the li list is too big, whenever the we have created a very big list, it may contain hundred elements. Okay. Suppose I am asking one question. The hundred elements are there. One, two, three. One, two. Hundred, all the elements are there. Suppose if I ask the what is the element of what is the index of ninety-seven means that is what ninety-six we may say ninety-six. You can say because if the number is arranged in order means that's okay. Suppose one two hundred numbers are in this order, it is not in order. We are asking the index of a particular number. What you will do? You have to manually you have to zero one two three like this. We have to go no. Correct? Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It takes more time, and moreover, many mistakes also we may done very quickly. Okay, so so this function will be used to find. Let I will show this thing. You can see the screen. The index function. The index function will return the index of the element. Okay. So, for example, we have to pass the element. We have to pass the element in the index function. Then the index function will return the Index of the elements. For example, you can see syntax. You can see list name dot index of elements. You can see the example l equal to one two three. Okay, l dot l is what list name. Correct dot index element element of zero. Okay, actually it is wrong. Actually it have mentioned wrong. I will show. I will I will type the new thing and I will explain it. Okay, let you see one minute. I will open the Python. For example, as you seen, I'm just giving a C element. C list is one, two, three. Okay. So list name. That is what is the list name? C is the list name. Am I right? Correct. Yes, yes sir. E dot. Okay. Which function we are dealing with? Index function. Index function. Okay. So I'm just uh, uh, typing index function. Index of what? Element. I want to know the index of third element, the element three. Okay, now you can see it is returning two, as you said, correct? See, when the list is very small, yes. sir. For that, why we need to use this line, sir? You may ask the doubt. When, whenever the list is small, that's okay. Whenever the list is too big, what you will do? And moreover, whenever you are writing the program, we don't know what the user will give as the input. The user may enter. Ten num ten elements in the list, or twenty elements in the list, or five hundred elements also in the list. We don't know. So whenever we are using the program, 
we must use whenever we need the index of any element if you need to know if you want to come to know any element index means definitely we have to go for what which function index function index, index function. function so for your sake i am just typing a equal to okay 1 comma 2 2 and 3 okay 22 i have typed not an issue okay so whatever number i just typed so little b okay so these are all the elements are there this is the a list suppose i want to know come to know what is the index of 45 suddenly could you say that we cannot no, sir. Okay. so what is the procedure or what is the syntax c dot that is list name dot index of sir a dot oh i'm so sorry mm. yeah. thank you so much a dot index of which element We need to 45. 45. 45. That we have to pass as the argument. Then it is returning tenth index. Can you check it? Can you cross verify whether is it in tenth index? Can you say that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Correct. Correct. Yes, sir. So this is the case. Okay. Whenever the list is goes more than C, it is very difficult to find us manually to know the index of a particular element. Okay. so that case we have to use the and whenever we are using program we must and should we have to use the index function whenever you need to know the index of any element in the list okay this is the thing i hope you understand the list index sorry list function uh, i mean i'm so really sorry index function have you understood have yes, you understood sir. okay later i will yes, sir. another concept uh, that i have said how to add elements the previous concept i have given the title only i have said that i will teach later now i am going to teach okay so suppose i want to add a new element to the list how to add element sir so if you want to add a single element only one element suppose if you want to add to a list means we need to use the function it is called as append function okay what function name could you repeat what is the function name append function append function append. okay so as you are seeing in the slide append function is used to one minute append function is used to add an element add a single element to a list have you got it it is used to add a single element to the list okay so ma make sure that only one element we can add sir i want to add two elements sir i want to add 30 elements sir then in this case we have to use another function that's called as extend function that up upcoming thing slide it is there okay so let me see how to add an element as you see this is a a list is contain 1 2 3 like this number up to 845 sorry 855 okay i want to add an element i want to add the element it is called as uh, 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 that is let you say something notebook okay i want to add a string a data i want to add a string element into the list called a how to add it what is the syntax list name dot append of element this is the syntax what is the list name here as per our a equal a dot a dot append sorry a p p e n d append of which element we want to add we are about to add notebook no so notebook is what type of yes. what is the data type of notebook it is a string so we should enclose within single quote or double quote okay so i have used the notebook single quote i have give okay so notebook they have added now i just close the function now you can see i am printing the a you can get come to know that notebook is added into the list have you got it have you understood this one how to yes, add yes sir element okay this is the concept okay make sure append function is used to add only one element that is add a single element okay that is the thing sir so, yeah. sir hmm. number vandu last la mattum dhan seikka mudiyuma illa enga venal seikka mudiyuma sir correct very good question nice good nice question has asked very good see uh, one of the important question i forgot to say append function and extend function both the functions let us complete the append function append function is used to add a single element to the list at the last of the list it only add at the last 
sir i want in the middle sir i want in the uh, front side sir this append function will not do have you got it ma yes sir very nice question really appreciate you i think is it pavitra or what yes sir ste yeah. pavitra sir pavitra very good pavitra ste pavitra good so she have asked a wonderful doubt sir only the append function will add at the last of the list sir yes of course that is a good question okay so the you can please note down the append function will add a single element that is it will add a single element into the list where it will add sir suppose the question is means at the last of the list or at the end of the list so from that you can coin a definition what is the use of append function suppose the question is asked me append function is used to add single element into the list at the end very good no have you understood no this concept i mean this definition so like this we can coin the definition that's all okay so let me come to the point okay this is okay append function we can sir i want to add four elements sir i want to add five elements sir or n number of elements i want to add sir how sir it is of course one way is there that is called as extend function as you are seeing on the screen okay the extend function is used to add the multiple elements n number of elements one element two element three element 30 element or how many number of elements that's not a matter okay which if you want to add more than one element means then we have to go for extend function sir i want to add only one element sir then go with what which function up hello and. yeah append function good okay so this also the same thing the extend function also we add the element at the last suppose i have added five elements using the extend function the five elements will be inserted at the last at the end of the list one okay so let me see directly or literally how to uh, deal over it okay for example what is the syntax means list name dot extend of the element okay what is the list name here a correct a a dot what is the function name extend extend okay, extend of i have to add number of elements no so i am just giving uh, i am just giving uh, for example c s it's a thing and i am just giving 78.5 is the number then i am just giving 100 uh, 100.58 okay suppose these elements Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot that extend function. One argument means I will tell it. What I have done, I will tell it. What is the uh, syntax? A dot up extend no e extend e e n d extend of what is the thing? Element. Okay. In the it is a list. No, I forgot to put the quotes. Okay. So we have to uh, give us a quote. Now you can see this. i'm just copying and pasting the same value okay so now you can see the element will be get added let me see i'm printing a you can see see a 78.500.58 everything is added no the three elements will be added into the list have you seen have you understood yes, no sir. yeah good this is the concept yes, so if you want to add more than one element means go with the extend function if you want to add a single element means go with the which function append function append function append. good have you understood no good yes, okay so let me yes, see sir. that the next concept is difference between the append function that what so much uh, this much time we have discussed this things only could anyone say that what is the difference between append function and extend function this is one of the important question append function you have to add a one element sir. one element to the list okay one extend element function is we will add more number of elements more, more elements into the list correct yes. both are the it will there is a only major difference okay and similarity means append function also will add the element at the end only extend last function also, side uh, that is the end means last side last side of the list or last of the list okay so have you understood that the Uh, what is the difference? Sorry, similarity between the append and uh, uh, extend function. Yes. Sir. Yeah, good. Let me go to the insert function. Now I will come to the uh, 
question for pavitra pavitra has sri pavitra has a wonderful question sir is it the way there is no way to insert an element in the required position sir i want the, to insert an element in the starting position or else second position or else middle position or else uh, last before position whether it is possible of course it is possible now you can see by using the insert function we can insert any element but that's also make sure only one element make sure one element that's what an element one element single element okay insert function is used to insert a yes, in single element or insert a yes, single element into the required position in the list okay let you see this uh, syntax list name dot insert function of position which position we need to insert i want in, i want to insert the position in the first position sir or in zeroth position zeroth position means what that is the first beginning position starting position one first position number one means as per the number one this is the second index no correct i am yes, sorry sir. second element no second element means that position position means here it is called as index okay the, comma element which element you want to insert that element you can see one example they are about to insert 0 comma 25 that means what 25 will be inserted at which place first place first place first, place. first element of the list itself what 25 that is l list okay have you understand the uh, insert position sorry insert function yes sir okay suppose i want to insert the zero between 1 and 2 one is the first position that is zeroth index zero if i want to insert means which index it will be first index correct am i right yes sir yes sir yeah dear children yes, one more minute is there just rejoin rejoin by using the same link same link just rejoin it i want to see all the members now so far 15 are there i hope one member have left now all the 16 i want to see again okay rejoin quickly whenever the meeting will get the end okay so let me do it i have to insert the zero in between one and two okay so what is the portion that is second portion second portion index will be what one it will be what one okay so one minute let will be get the end we will do on the second session okay so if you want to insert an element that is the element we are considering considering as zero i want to insert the zero element between the one and two so what will be the index first is zero index is one suppose i want to insert the zero in the second position so second position index will be what one, one correct one. so what is the syntax what is the syntax a into that is a dot insert function insert of what I'm so sorry. One element one. one comma. Of position comma element. What is the position? First position I need. That is the first index. Okay, comma. What is the element? Zero. Zero. Correct. So that I have to insert it. Now again I am printing the A. You can see the zero has inserted. Have you seen? That is yes, sir. Dot insert yeah. of position comma element. Okay. Suppose I want to insert a text that is sorry a string, okay? That's called as a computer. The first position, first position I want to insert the uh, word computer. Can you say that how to insert? Yeah. A dot. Tell me the answer. Yeah. List name that is a dot. Uh. Insert. Insert. Sorry. Uh. Insert. Uh. Z zero. One uh, zero. I need at the first position. It's the first position means I need a starting point. Zero. Then indexes will be zero comma. Then what is the element? Which element we need to add? Computer is what type of data type? What is the data type? String. String data type. Correct. So we should we must enclose within what? Single quotes or double quotes? Or double quotes. Suppose I'm just giving double quotes. Okay, I'm just com typing computer, the element computer. Now I close the function. You can see I'm printing A. You can see computer as inserter. Have you understood? 
Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the this is what we are de dealing with the insert function. Today, I really happy about Pavitra's question. She have asked a wonderful question. Where it will be inserted, sir? Always it will be inserted the last. Of course, append function and extend function will be insert an element at last. You may you may get the question. What is the difference between append function, extend function, and insert function? Or else, how you can say insert function? How the insert function will differ from append and extend function? How it get differ? An append function and dif uh, extend function only adds the element at the end of the list. But insert function provide the facility wherever we required in that position, in that index, we can the user can what insert the element, correct? That in this case only it will be get deferred. Append function also used to add elements. Extend function also is used to add element and insert also too. But how it is different? Append only add single element. Extend can add multiple elements. What is the main? But in the last yeah, main, what is the similarity between the append and extend means? At the last only, the both the append function and in, uh, extend function will add add the element. Correct. What is the similarity between yes. append function and uh, insert function? Append function, insert function. What is the similarity? I am not asking difference. Similarity. Only one element only we add. Nicely said, man. Nicely said, Pavitra. Superb. Okay. Append function also takes only one element. Insert function also will take only one element. Okay, that is used to add one element. Both the functions is used to add one element. But how? What is the difference between append and insert function? Difference. Append function we will add last. Insert function wherever we have to insert. We require that place we can insert. Have you got it? Yes. This concept, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Good. One minute. Okay. So this is the what we have seen about the insert function. Let you go ahead with the next function, pop function. Okay. So what is the pop function, sir? Name itself very peppy. What is the name of the pop function, sir? If you ask the question, is used to it's not peppy function, pop function. Okay. So what is the pop function? Is used to remove an element from the list. It is used to remove an element from the list. Okay. How it will do the... Sir, it's not the same, uh, same like uh, deleting list. Sir. That's what it is different. Delete, delete function, <laughs> we have to mention. I will tell the difference. I will come to the another difference. If you want to delete an element from the list, it means so far we have used del list name of the index. That index the element will be get deleted. Here pop what is the thing it means same procedure but instead of del command we are using what list name dot pop of index have you got it yes sir. for example rajesh i think so you have asked one wonderful question again likewise pavitra sir i think the both are same no sir it is removing the element only no single element only no okay but what is the difference yes. by using the del command we can delete the entire element that is sorry, I'm so sorry. By using the del command, we can delete the entire list. But in pop command, it is not. Pop command is used to delete a index the element. Suppose I didn't pass the index, sir. Which element will be deleted? Last element, as you're seeing in the slide. If we didn't mention the index, then the pop function will remove the last element of the list. Have you got it? As you see, yes, sir. List, L dot pop. L is a list name. Dot pop of five. Five is what index name, which is the fifth index. It's not element. It is index, which is the fifth index. The element that the element will be removed. Which one? The pop function. Okay. Now you can see. Uh, suppose I didn't give the number five. What will happen, sir? It will remove the last element. Let me see literally how it works. Okay. For example, as you are seeing. Pop function, suppose we need to delete the number zero, the element zero I want to delete by using the pop function. So, shall we use it? What is the syntax? List name that is a dot a, a what is the a dot zero? One, 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 two. How it is one? 
computer is 0 1 is 1 and 0 is 2 correct so pop of 2 if i give means then it will remove that element which element will be removed zero and one more thing the pop function will return the pop function will return the which element it has removed no that element it will return here we have removed the two second element that's what it is returning zero again i am typing a i am printing a now we have seen the zero will be removed have you got it yes sir yeah let me see sir i didn't pass the two sir i didn't give the value which one will be get deleted for example i'm just showing a dot pop of i didn't give any value then in this case last element will be get deleted what is the last element as per the syntax as per the list 100.58 no? so that will be yeah that will be get deleted that's what it is returning that 100.58 okay so suppose again i am printing the a you can see the 100.58 will be yes, i mean it will be removed it will be deleted from the list have you all understand the difference between the uh, have you all the uh, del function i mean del command and pop function pop oh. is the function del is the command del is not a function del list name of we are giving or del list name we are giving delete a particular element or list itself the entire list itself but pop is a function. This function is used to used for what? Used for what purpose? To remove a deleting it. Yeah, to remove a particular to delete a particular element based on the index. Okay, this is the difference between the pop function. Okay, so remaining things and all. Let me see on the next class. Have you all understand this one? This concept have you all understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so tomorrow let me see the remove function and the remaining functions and all. So far we have completed five functions. Tomorrow let me complete the chapter itself. Okay. Once we completed the function, means the list will be get to over. Thank you to all. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. Thank you. Thank you so much.